Now hearing from a little girl who accidentally shot herself with a loaded gun that was left unattended on a couch. She's now home from the hospital and her mom tells us she wants accountability. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa is live with this little girl's story. Christian. Yes, and we're coming to you live from the Miami-Dade County Jail where the owner of that gun that that three-year-old used to accidentally shoot herself bonded out. In the meantime, the mother of that child speaking out tonight in hopes that families, adults, especially gun owners, hear her out. How you here, feel, Mommy? I'm angry. I'm sad. I'm hurt. Wernicia Williams says she cannot stop thinking just how close she got to losing her. The gun was aimed at her chest. Her hand stopped. Her hand saved her life. Three-year-old Serenity was at her paternal grandmother's house Sunday when she reached for a loaded gun left on top of a couch and accidentally shot herself in the hand. To carelessly let, leave a gun with one in the chamber off safety was the dumbest thing. Police say the gun belonged to 23-year-old Orlando Young, who's seen in the video watching a football game on a laptop when Serenity went for the weapon. He was arrested, charged with child neglect. No comment, man, no comment. It was just so stupid. And he, ha he has to be held accountable for his actions. He does. Also in the room, the little girl's four-year-old brother, Benjamin. Her hands saved her life, but her was bleeding everywhere on her hand. Oh, and it was red, and it, and, it, and it was blood everywhere in the hallway. I'm so sorry. William says her heart also breaks for the family of the 10-year-old boy who accidentally shot himself with his father's gun a day after her daughter was hurt. She hopes people are taking note. Put the guns up. Put them up. Um, if you have kids in the home, lock it up. Keep it on safety, especially if you know you have kids in the home. Like, I don't want nobody ever to be in this situation. That was the worst call I ever received. <laughs> Nice to see that little girl back at home recovering. We should mention neither of her parents were at that home when all of this happened. And there is a fundraiser underway to help this family with all the medical bills. If you'd like to pitch in, you can find a link to help you do so. It's on our website, local10.com. Live in West Miami-Dade, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.